Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company. Great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I am heading out on Lake Erie, folks. We're looking for perch today. We're gonna head out and I brought some peanut bunkers with me today, the Sting Nose Peanut Bunker. And I also brought the Sting Nose Minnows with me. But I'm gonna open up with the peanut bunker and I'm gonna jig for those beautiful Lake Erie yellow perch. The other thing I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm gonna tip my peanut bunker with a little eye drop. I brought some Thundermus eye drops with me today, and that's just gonna be a little extra enticer to get those fish to bite. Now I'm looking out here, there's a lot of boats out here today. It's unbelievable, we got a fantastic day out here on Lake Erie. Everybody's out here perch fishing today, and why not? It's amazing out here. So I'm gonna go out there and join the pack, find some fish and have some fun. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> I'm out here in the middle of the boats, folks. All kinds of boats all around us. And first drop down with the bunker. Yes, I've got myself. That's a nice Lake Erie wall or a walleye. That's a nice Lake Erie perch right there. And boy, did he hammer it! He just nailed it. Even though the bunkers are a little bit wider than the minnow. Oh, and that, that hook out. They are still very aggressive and go right after it. Just get that hook out. Eh? It's a nice perch. Okay. Get him in. Okay, he goes in the box. I got my Thunder Mist hand towel here. Microfiber. Okay, I want to show you the size that I went with. I decided to go with the small quarter ounce bunker and I went with the gold and I tipped it with a silver eye drop. And uh, as you know, I fish these as, the, as is. You don't necessarily need to tip them, but sometimes you need that little extra enticement and the eye drop is a nice natural attractor and it's scented. So that's why I've added it today. And plus it's so calm out here, folks. So the bite's gonna be somewhat tentative. So I wanna be able to trigger that bite. Now, this little quarter ounce uh, bunker is so small it takes a while to get down there I'm fishing 60 feet of water and yes out here on Lake Erie on the eastern basin that's what these all these boats around me they're all fishing 60 feet of water that's what it's like out here the perch are very very deep so you have to get down there and fish deep so if if we had some chop on the water I would go a little bit heavier like a 3 8 or a half ounce for example but right now because it's so calm I can get away with using the quarter ounce just dropping it down jig it up let it hit the bottom and dropping it down so it takes a little while to get down there but once you're down there you can jig it and work it and uh, and trigger a bite so oh there's another one that was a good hit oh this is a better fish folks this is a better fish oh my this feels like a good fish Oh, he feels like a good fish because he is a good fish. Look at that chunk. Oh, oh boy. Look at that chunk. Isn't that a nice perch? Beautiful Lake Erie perch right there, folks. Beautiful Lake Erie perch. Okay. So, I need to get my line back. Now, you can cast your line out of it, too. I'll cast it out there. You can cast it out and jig it back or as I was just doing there you could just drop it straight down and jiggle it off the bottom that's how you work these jigging spoons and yes they work really really well what a great start okay now I gotta wait for my quarter ounce to get down there I might bump up to 3h just to be able to still keep that bit of um, finesse but yet get down there a bit quicker. But I'll stick with the quarter ounce just for now. It's another solid hit. I just love these Lake Erie perch, folks. Love it. This feels like another decent fish. Straight down 60 feet. Oh yeah, it's another nice perch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, can't even get him in. It's a heavy fish. <laughs> Okay, that's worth a photo for Facebook and Instagram right there. Quick photo and I got to get right back down there again. My goodness, that was a beauty. Look at that perch. Lake Erie perch at its best. That's another good fish. These Lake Erie perch are jumbles, folks, at its best.
Now I am using braided line. I like using the braid when you're fishing deep water and jigging. You get a nice direct hook set. And of course I'm running a fluorocarbon leader. I've got just a six pound fluorocarbon leader on there. I went really light. Oh, another nice perch, folks. Another nice perch. Oh, yes. Yes. Come on in here. Oh, yes. That's another dandy. That's a beautiful, beautiful perch. Look at that. These are Lake Erie Jumbos, folks, right there. Okay, he's going back in the box. Dinner is starting to shape up really, really nicely. All right, let's get back out there again. I'm just loving this sting nose eye drop combo, folks. They are just hammering these baits, just hammering them. Good, how you doing? Yeah, how's it going? We're just, we're, there we go. Always know, always got some fresh, friendly people on the water, folks. Beautiful fish. Hey, loving that combo right there. These are just dandies, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, this is amazing fishing, folks. I need to get my line right back down there again. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's always great to meet people out on the water. And there, if you just take a look around, there's lots of boats here. Check this out. Tell you what, when you set the hook and it feels like a bass, you know you got a good perch. Oh my goodness, this feels like a dandy. Holy folks, this is Lake Erie Jumbo Perch right there at its best. Look at, oh, look at that. Look at that, folks. Look at that beautiful perch. Isn't that gorgeous? What a dandy. And he's just hooked nicely just inside the mouth and I want you to see what he's coughing up uh, if I can get my hook out of there okay so take a good look at that that little bunker with the eye drop okay take a good look at that and now look at what they're eating come, come on out of there open your mouth that folks is a goby and they are this one's kind of digested they're normally brown in color and the perch are feeding on gobies like crazy. Oh, this one's bleeding, but that's a really, really nice perch. So the gold is a great color if they're feeding on gobies. Okay, now I want you to take a look at the screen here. Just come around and take a look, quick look at the screen. So we just went over a school of perch here, just going off the screen there, but I want you to see we're at 59 almost 59.7 feet of water and the water temperature is 47 degrees so it's plenty plenty cold okay so we obviously just drifted over that school you just saw the tail end of it so i'm just going to bump the boat just back up there again we're drifting we're not anchored my uh, spot lock isn't working so we're just going to drift back over top of those fish again and continue jiggling these sting nose if you don't have minnows they're a great option right there this thing those okay let me go back up there and do another drift if you get an opportunity folks perch fishing those fish i have already that's a meal in itself right there i'm gonna catch a few more and enjoy the rest of the day if you get an opportunity give perch fishing a try i want to thank you for joining us on today's episode of thunderous fishing tips and as always folks until next time good luck and good fishing time to bump back up again